know, before I was on the mission, you know. Yeah. I advised it for two years, gave what good did advice when I got depressed. And what? Thinking about my grandma that was buried in the cemetery where I worked and that, you know. She lived with us, we were very close. Yeah. And I blamed myself for her death. Yeah. Because you used to... was coming down the steps and there was some... We had the two little kittens, you know, we were playing with them at the bottom of the steps. I was in the kitchen sat in, at the table and I heard a clump clumping down the steps. Yeah. And she was about nearly 80, you know, and a bit unsteady on her feet. And I said, Grandma, be careful. Is it? She was nearly at the bottom. I said, there's a kitten playing there. And clump, clump, still kept coming down, you know. And she stepped on one and all blood came out of its mouth and it, she yeah. killed it, you know. Was, you, was your grand talking to your head? Into your, was your grand talking to you in your head or was it God? No, it wasn't my grandma, no. No. No, no I, was, I thought at the time it was God, you know. Yeah. yeah. But what, what, did you, what did he say? Oh, all kinds of things. Good advice and that, not to get down and yeah. you weren't responsible for your grandma's death and that. And stop blaming yourself, you know. Yeah. Well, she died about a week after I'd shouted at her, you know. Yeah. I'd never raised my voice to her in my life, you know. But it was a shock when I saw her foot come down on the kitten. Yeah. And crush it and... Was I it? Shouted, Look, you've killed it and that. You've killed the kitten, I shouted at her, you know. Yeah. And uh, she never recovered. Um, uh, over a week or less than two weeks later, she died, you know. Yeah. No, I was... I tried suicide once when I was outside, long before I was caught, you know. Yeah. Long before I'd actually taken anybody's life of I tried to drive my car off all the road where the druids used to sacrifice people. Oh, right, yeah. Being with a big steep rock, and there's all rocks at the bottom where they used to land on them, you know. And I drove my car, I was going to drive over the edge, but it got jammed on a rock sticking up out of the ground. Yeah. I was rocking like a seesaw. Right. And I got out and trying to rev it up with my hand on the steering wheel to jump back in again. And it, it wouldn't grip. And in the end, it took me so long to free the car that I just forgot what I, I just put it out of my mind what I was going to do. Mm. Have you ever thought about it in jail? Or mm. not? Have you ever thought it might have been inside or anything like that? No. 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 Yeah. What do you miss most about being free then? Well, it's not the same now. You can't drive freely here. There's traffic jams and all that. I miss driving and I miss seaside holidays. Yeah. Just the normal things, you know, uh, stroking a dog. I'm going to ask you something silly now. Do you miss sex then? Yeah, I certainly do. Yeah. You do? Yeah. Well, they've just knocked on the door, hope. So Have they? With the quarter of an hour's up, darling. All right, then. Anyway, I'll speak to you again. Uh, I don't know when I...